Hi, this is a GES video review and my gamer tag is Mirage. Right now we're going to be taking a look at Dungeons and Dragons Neverwinter, which is a free to play action RPG set in an MMO world. Now they're already out in their first expansion because the original build was available about three to four months ago um, publicly. And um, they're just about to launch their second expansion, which is called Shadow Mantle. The current one is called Fury of the Feywild. Um, and um, in the new expansion, they're going to be introducing a new character. So let me go through the new character section, and you'll see what it is. Now, they had, just like any other um, MMO, different servers and realms. Um, they had three, which they've now combined into one. So you select it, start off, and you're introduced to the cinematic which shows you the main antagonist of the game, um, Valindra Shadowmantle, who was a moon elf wizard, very beautiful, and um, she died unfortunately, and when she died she became really ugly, and that drove her absolutely nuts, and now she's out for revenge and very angry, so she once never went to for herself. Look at that, beauty's only skin deep unfortunately now that she's dead. She controls this undead dragon called a Dracolich and he just lays waste to the defenses here of, uh, of Neverwinter. But these heroes put up a very good defense and um, they drive away the enemies. Now we're not going to go through the cinematic, um, you can take a look at that when you play the game. You start off with your race selection. Now you see there's nine different races and characters to choose from, including Tyrion Lannister. Um, we're gonna just select one. I like the high elf, he's sparkly at the bottom there. Um, now you've got your class selection. Trickster Rogue, Melee, close combat. Devoted Cleric, which is your ranged healer. Um, control Wizard, ranged damage. Great Weapon Fighter, gonna be your warrior class. Guardian Fighter is going to be a Paladin class, and then the new one which is being introduced here, coming soon, is the Hunter Ranger. So it will definitely be a ranged with Hunter abilities. Not too sure if you're going to have a pet or not. I haven't gone and read all the, the um, available um, information on them. At the bottom here you've got your skills that come with each character. Um, and your profession that is racial to your class. So we're going to take a guardian fighter. Here you've got your skills or your abilities that are given to you. You can re-roll to find one that you're happy with and then um, a racial ability bonus which as you can see adds two to a specific character trait. Let's quickly do a customization. You can do a quick one or you can go in depth with uh, very specific stuff there. Um, we're just gonna for now go with a basic one. Here's something pretty cool. It doesn't, like it says, each selection is for flavor and has no effect on the gameplay. So you can go and select your character's origins, where you're from, give yourself a bit of a backstory. Um, I dig Baldur's Gate, so we're gonna select that one and I'm going to say that I am a Flaming Fist Mercenary. And the deity that I'm affiliated with is going to be Tamora Lady Luck. Um, that gives you a short synopsis on everything that you've selected. Gives you some rundown if, uh, if you want to read it. I'm going to randomize a character name. And we're going to start our adventure at level number one. Now where the cinematic leaves off... Um, is where you get thrown into the game now. You were traveling on a barge past Neverwinter and uh, as you can see with these flashbacks the Draculich attacked your ship leaving everybody else dead and you're the only survivor. There's the wreckage in the back there. Hey, are you alright? Yes, I am. I'm the only one that survived this dude. Cool, so you start off with a bit of a tutorial on the shores of Neverwinter um, and you go and chat to Private Wilfred, who would then give you... Oh, what's this? Move reviewer number one. I just got a reviewer award, it seems, uh, or at least an achievement while I'm doing a review. Um, that's pretty ironic. Okay, but we're not going to go through this introductory system here. I've just shown you where you start off. So we're going to change characters to my main, and... Um, 
my main is a control wizard. Her name is Zaloria, and I'm currently level 24. Um, and I am, if I'm not mistaken, standing in, yes, I'm in Neverwinter right now, in the city of Neverwinter. Um, something very nice with that Neverwinter have uh, done in the game, as well as with all the other MMOs around when you have events going on, um, when it's spring, when it's Christmas, when it's Easter, there's something happening. Right now, obviously being um, Halloween weekend, they've got something equivalent, and you'll see all the all the pumpkins and all the dead trees and the gloomy sky and everything around, um, which is pretty cool. Oh, I haven't been here yet during this event, so what can you do to this pumpkin? You can search and I jack a liar's charm. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna take it all. And I'll check it out later. Oh, it also gave me a quest. Alright, now when I said deity earlier, you see there's this funny circle area. Now, this is where you would, what is called, evocate. Um, and it is a skill that you can use at the bottom here. Um, once every hour. And it gives you a chest. And I even leveled up. That's really cool, so you should evocate more often. Um, it gives you a bunch of boons, which is now your buffs, some rough, rough astral diamonds, which is currency, and some experience. Now those rough astral diamonds, um, you can go and refine into normal astral diamonds, which is used to purchase awesome cool items and gear and nice things. Bottom right corner, you'll see there's a little thing flashing saying I've leveled up um, and I should press U to see what's new. So while I'm running, I'm going to check that out. New powers, oh, I've got another power point, which is my skill, well not my skill tree here, this is my um, my ability tree, where I can go and select upgrades to my skills that I currently have using, um, Entangling Force is pretty cool, can I upgrade to rank, yes, I can push that one to rank 3, and I'll show you what those do in just a moment, new feats, there's my talent tree, um, I'm going to just randomly quickly select one, I'm busy on that one there, which is Arcane Enhancement, um, gives me more damage, and I'm going to commit that change, boom, okay. Now we'll dismiss that window and we'll go through to the main map. Um, I'm going to just quickly take us through to um, a quest, now you'll see there's this funny sparkling thing, ooh, there's a really big ass dude, and he's got a pumpkin thing above it, he's obviously part of this uh, Halloween event. There's a sparkling trail in, ahead of me that tells that leads me to my quest. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm rather going to change that from the masquerade, which is now the event for um, for Halloween. But I'm rather going to find an actual quest, and I'm going to change the quest path, the sparkly trail, which will now go in the other direction and take me to the main door, which will go to the map. Um, once you reach it, you just activate it. And here's your map. There tells me where my quest leading me to. And I can go anywhere else that I really want to. Obviously the dark red and orange ones are um, out of my level range. Yellow means it's going to be challenging for me. Um, that's where my quest leading me. And then obviously blue is where I currently am. Protectors Enclave and that is um, not a not a fighting zone. So we're going to go to the Black Dagger Ruins and see which quest this is and what I need to do. Let me see if I can get us into some kind of fighting action here so you can see um, what happens. Um, while we're doing that, while we're waiting to get to the quest, let me quickly queue us for a skirmish, um, which is going to be... You've got your calendar, your home screen, which is... Um, got some foundry things here which are custom um, maps and levels which the community makes um, and you put up for other people to play. I played one the other day which was a Wizard of Oz um, take on Neverwinter which is pretty awesome. Um, so I'm going to queue us for a Storming the Keep which is in my level range. Um, skirmish which is a, it takes about 15 minutes to play through. Um, it's just waves of enemies coming at you and as a team of five players as a party um, you take them out. Otherwise you have a dungeon which you can go and do as well. 
tells you what the level restriction is, level 25, luckily I'm just level 25 now. It takes about 45 minutes to play through, it's a 5 player dungeon, um, but I'm going to queue us for a skirmish while we're, um, while we're doing... Whoa, okay. What Let's chat to him, travel with broken crown. So you're the one the old okay, self. complete the quest. My Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Summary. Uh, I need to go and find a corpse of somebody. Obviously, I'm just racing through it now so I can actually get us to some game content. <laughs> okay, the sparkly trail says go that way. I can give you a description so you can look So you can body. hear, even though if I've selected all the quest course, stuff, the guy is still talking in the background. So now we would listen while, while we were running to the quest and it would tell us what we have to do. Okay, here's some baddies, let's do some fighting. Okay, there's my freeze ray. Die too quickly. There's my freeze ray. Ah, uh, come on people, put up some fights here. Can I freeze you? No, I'm trying to show you guys what happens when uh, when I use my freeze ray for longer than 10 seconds. They turn into a solid block of ice. Um, okay, let's try something really cool here. Uh, okay, see I jumped out of the way there. Oh, I'm sure you've noticed there's this other character running around with me. Um, that's my companion, and uh, she's. I've selected a healer um, companion to run around with me and just uh, just bump up my health every now and then while I'm fighting. Now you do have a, a selection of different. Um, oh, that's exactly where I needed to go. I think this is the body I needed to. Yes, uh, is not the Harper agent I'm looking for. This is not the droid I'm looking for. Um, the in the middle of the screen at the bottom there you'll see there's this funny yellow gem type effect thing that activates where there's a the two circles on either side um, there are special skills which I'm trying to which I'm trying to get to so I can show you I think this dude I'm going to turn into a solid block of ice this wargan yeah there he is okay and when he's a solid block of ice he takes more damage but he's now obviously gotten out of it Okay, let's use some other skills. Froze him again. Okay, obviously a good thing to have in this kind of environment would be to activate my tank companion, which I think I will go and do. Where is my companion? On the character screen, let's activate my, my tank I'm companion. So now he will rather run into the fight as opposed to me having to teleport around the screen like a like a mosquito. Oh, I didn't even notice that there was a baddie. Cool. See now he's fighting up ahead, and all the targeted zones is now by him, and I can just stand back and um, and do the fighting from the back here, lay some damage into her. Um. I must say that um, even though, oh there's a chest there, um, now with that chest I picked up, you'll see on the right hand side now, item received, dark forest um, lockbox, now to open that, it's an epic, um, then let me just open my inventory, it is an epic um, item, uh, that's the Feywild lockbox. Can't find that one. Oh, there it is at the bottom, you know. Okay, Dark Forest lockbox. Now, to open that, you need a special key, an enchanted key, and that's something that you buy from the Zen market. And you would use those astral diamonds as well that I spoke about earlier. You would use those to, and and inside there you can get an awesome selection of items, either a mount, a companion, um, and some gear. Now, talking about mount, I do have an awesome mount. I've got a heavy warg. Um, obviously, improves your your traveling speed. I don't even know why I, did, why I didn't do that to start off with. Um, probably because I haven't played the game in forever. Okay, there's a rest zone or a, or a place I can do evocation. But I have got 52 minutes left on my cooldown. So I'll just come and stand here quickly and just uh, recover my health. 
That's pretty cool. And I hear something going on somewhere. <clears throat> but like I was trying to get to, even though this is a um, not as as mainstream game and not pay for play um, like the other well-known ones. As you can see, the graphics are amazing. The cinematics are awesome too. Um, the quests are fun. Um, it's not a, 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 a pointless grind all the time. It really is awesome and fun to play. Um, it's taken me a while to get through to level 25, but that's because I've decided to watch as they developing the game. Neverwinter has improved drastically from the beta to the original build um, and then through to the first expansion and obviously now just before the second expansion hits uh, it just gets incrementally better. Um, I'm right at the point where I can show you that uh, special ability so let me just build up a little bit more of the skill points I'm gonna have to use it on these baddies here. Okay, come on Tanko, do your job. Uh, hello, I've drawn aggro. You punk. You're not doing your job, I'm gonna fire you. Ah, oh, so close, so close. Almost, almost, almost. Uh, is there one more? Yeah, no, there's no more. Um, I'm so close to showing you. Ooh. Enchantment. Okay, that what I just picked up there is called a Radiant Enchantment. Um, you get a whole bunch of these little enchantment stones, which are here, which you apply to your gear. You can do that by, if you see that there's this item here, it's got an open little square next to it. And if you, I've just moused over it, it's the middle one. Um, a fence slot empty, so you would use an offense um, stone enchantment in there and it would obviously increase the damage of that weapon specifically okay I think we'll be able to use a skill now and no still not we are literally right there okay let me just find a few more baddies to beat up uh, let's do There, I saw some guys at the back, yeah. I just gotta show you, I gotta show you, I gotta show you. Yes, there we go, okay, cool. Ah, check this out. Yeah, goodbye, suck you into the void, and... Let's lift you up into the sky, choke you a bit. Awesome. Okay, cool. Well, look, I couldn't show you everything that I need to show you. Um, there's still the professions section, which you use to um, make uh, weapons, gear, um, potions. Um, so you know, there's there's so much to Neverwinter that makes it a really really awesome game. Um, I would encourage not just ne uh, Dungeon and Dragon fans, but anybody that's a fan of an MMO, to give it a shot. Um, it's really they've done a great job in working out the bugs. Um, especially if you're a Dungeon and Dragon lore fan, you'll you'll enjoy the the extra spins and the familiar characters. So I would definitely give it a shot. Um, I hope you uh, you go and download it install it, play it. The only thing is um, if you're on a slow internet connection you might get slightly frustrated with the updates every now and then there is about a 400 megabyte patch and update um, but it really is worth it because as you can see the graphics are stunning so the updated map packs and things that they load are, are great. Thank you very much for watching the review um, I hope I didn't waste too much of your time um, but that you, uh, that you found this interesting and, and fun to watch. Um, please like and subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any more of the video reviews that are to come. Um, thank you very much for watching.